everyone, we're going to find the critical numbers of the function f of x equals x to the four-fifths times the quantity of x minus four squared. So uh, we're using this definition of a critical number of function f. Um, so is the number c in the domain of f such that f prime of c equals zero or f prime of c does not exist? In this problem, we're going to have both of these scenarios happen. So I want to notice right at the beginning, your original function here, the domain is all real numbers. So uh, just remember that because at the end we need to know that. All right, so the first thing we have to do is take the derivative of f. So f prime of x, using the product rule, is you write down the first term times the derivative of the second term. So that's going to be times 2x minus 4. And derivative of the inner function is just 1. So I'm not going to write that. Okay, plus, now for the second part, you write down the second term times the derivative of the um, first term. And so that's that. Now, it still looks like a mess. And what I'm going to do is group this together. I have something in common. And it takes a while to notice this, but uh, what we want to do is find the critical numbers. That's our goal. So I want to get all the exponents by itself. So what I'm going to do is from both of these, I'm going to factor out 1 fifth x to the negative 1 fifth. I'm going to factor it out of this part and this part. Again, we have like two parts here, this part and this part. So we can factor by grouping. All right, so we have that and we also have in common um, these two. We have one of those, so I'm going to factor out at x minus 4. So that's our first part and then we're going to multiply it by the second part. Now, um, I think the hard part's going to be this. So let's look what I what I'm doing. If I take one fifth x to negative one fifth, then the part that's going to be left is um, if I want to get back to this, I'm going to have to write x five x. So if I multiply these two, I get back to this because 1 fifth of 5 is 1 and this is to the first power so that would be 5 over 5 minus 1 fifth gives you the 4 fifths. So what I want to write here is 5x. That's what I'm factoring out. That will give me both of these. Uh, oh, and for the second one what's going to happen is you're going to get, one, let's write it again, 1 fifth x to negative 1 fifth and to get this back, what you're just going to write is 4. Because 4 times um, this gives you 4 fifths x to the negative 1 fifth. So we're also going to multiply this by uh, uh, this part by 4. So basically what you're going to get is 5x and we have the 2 times 2 uh, plus then we have our x minus 4 this part here. So this was the first piece we did here. And the second piece is going to be plus x minus 4 times 4. All right. Now, if you notice, what happened is I don't have um, any exponents except at the beginning. And this is to the negative 1 fifth. So that now goes to my denominator. So now this is really 5x to the 1 fifth. All right. And the uh, numerator is going to end up being x minus 4. And this part right here, if you simplify that, you're going to get um, 4x, 14x minus 16. So you just this is going to be uh, 10x. Uh, for this piece and then plus uh, 4x uh, 
minus 16. So that's the numerator part. All right, now let's continue on. So if you simplify that, um, let me write down what I had. So that I had x minus 4 times 14x minus 16. Divide it by 5x to the 1 -fifth. Now, do you see why I did that? Because I only have one exponent. And we're trying to set this to 0. Also, we could also factor out a 2 here. So just factor out a 2 out of this piece. That gives you 7x uh, minus 8. And then we have this part. Now, set this to 0. And you set each piece to a 0. So you have x minus 4 equals 0. And 7x minus 8 equals 0. So your two critical values are x equal 4 when you uh, solve for x. And you have um, x equals 8 sevenths. Now, this is where we did this part. Now, for this part, f prime of c does not exist because we don't have f prime of 0 does not exist. But 0 is in the domain of our original number. So that means it's still a critical number. So x equals 0 is also a critical number. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day.